Brothers, how blessed am I? Look, there's a woman in my garden. And this is what she does on her days off. She said, I'm going to relax today. And she's staring into Blackberry. This path, I've been tripping over it for ages because I'm just a lazy bastard when it comes to work around the place. And you know that. And I'm not going to bullshit anybody. So Dot has moved her cute little house bus in here. And she's working on an orchard. And I've made a space for her. And she's with us for a while. I've also got Lizzie, who's living, she's actually going through a real tough patch. And Lizzie's, she's really cool, but uh, she doesn't sleep very well and she's struggling. So, if you look after past my son's car there, that's where Lizzie is there. Anyway, today's message is uh, very short, very sweet. And it's about uh, you men that are around my age that run the risk of becoming old fuddy duddies. <laughs> Now, I ran the risk of becoming an old fuddy-duddy. What's an old fuddy-duddy? It's someone who's selfish. It's someone who has to have their things all in the right place. I'll turn a lot on here. It's someone that uh, doesn't share much. It's someone who holds on to everything too tight. And it's someone that invariably ends up being bloody lonely and miserable. And I know because when I came back from Europe, I was used to always having everything my own way. And... I come back to New Zealand to raise my kids and I was turning into that, that, that fuddy-duddy, that person that doesn't open up their home, that doesn't share everything they've got to other people. Now what I've learned by sharing everything I've got and opening up a space, and I don't do it because um, I, people that stay here don't pay rent, they just do a little bit of work and they do what they feel that, that they want to contribute. Some people do nothing, like Lizzie's really struggled to do a bit of gardening, whereas Dot's like, she's a machine. And Dot's only been here a couple of days, so... Uh, maybe the honeymoon stage wears off after a while, but I don't think so. She's just that way, and she's like, go, go, go. And that's okay. I don't have a huge expectation, but what I have found by sharing and opening up my home, my personal stuff, and letting everything go to other people, that means my washing machine, my shower, my toilet, my, my kitchen, everything, it's actually really nice because you've got cool company all the time, and don't sweat this, this like a, a glass got broken. This glass got broken this morning in the... One of the uh, people here broke it, and um, I said, so fucking what, it's only a glass, I'm not going to worry about that. But there was a time once when I'm going, oh, not that glass there. So the message to you brothers out there, particularly you older ones that are my age, uh, with your family, your loved ones, don't, be, don't turn to a cranky old man. Tolerance, practice tolerance, because there's things that those same people will be tolerating a with you, and you may not be aware. Am I a cranky old man, son? No. no? You're messy, though. Sorry? You're messy, though. I'm messy, though, yeah. <laughs> I've already told them I'm messy. <laughs> well, that hurts, son. I didn't know that about myself. Yes, I am messy. And um, that's uh, something which I've been told I need to work on, but it doesn't actually upset me. Does it upset you that I'm messy? Not really. Not really, a little bit. Uh, it does, doesn't it? Be honest. Yeah, okay, come on, tell me the truth. If it's something like coming back to find my special cup. Oh, yeah, well, that wasn't me. That was actually... So what was going on with the special cup? I came back... I'll show you the special cup. Look, yes, yes. And it was... And I assumed it was you, but I was obviously... Oh, hold on a minute. Did have soap in it? Yeah, had all these bars of soap, and it was covered in... No, I blamed someone else. No, that was me. I just remembered... It was covered in, like, fat or something. Yeah, no, that... That sort of thing irritates me, but, like, this doesn't... That was my... No, I actually blamed someone else, but it actually was me. I just forgot now I remember I did. Yeah, so that's, uh, apparently I need to work on it, but I'm not working on it. Probably because uh, that's a selfish part of myself, probably. I just don't care. <laughs> anyway, point being is, we're not going to get it all 100% right all the time. And I've always been uh, not very tidy and not very respectful of my own property. I look after other people's sometimes. <laughs> Sorry about the cup sound, that was... Yeah, he loves this cup. That cup, he really, like, would have been upset. He probably actually blew a bubble out of his nose and probably did a tear, because he loves this cup, don't you? Yeah, oh, my, my, sis my sister, my daughter, your sister, my daughter bought you that cup, yeah. yeah. It's actually a really cool cup. We're getting off track of it. Anyway, don't become an old fuddy-duddy, uh, because if you do, you'll end up a lonely, poor old, sad bastard with lots of things around you, trying to fill up your life with things that you buy and stuff, but no one to share them with, and you become miserable and selfish and... And uh, you don't want that. I know so many people. And older people, like my father, he's he's going to have less and less friends. I, the other day I, I phoned him up and we had a 
<sighs> a silly thing, really. He just said, oh, that's bullshit, son, and it wasn't. And then I said, well, even if it is bullshit, you, um, the way that you're doing it, like you're having to be right all the time. That's another thing. Old, older people often, or some people, not older people, people in general often, there's some that just have to be right all the time. It's okay to be wrong. I don't mind being wrong. doesn't matter. But if you have to be right all the time, then you don't leave room for the other person to talk freely. And I said to my dad, Dad, that's, it doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong anyway. It was a silly bloody discussion. It was about oysters growing on the bloody houseboat. And um, I thought, geez, here you are. You don't have many friends or any family around you because you've distanced yourself from everybody. And you're going to end up very, very much alone. I'm even finding it difficult to do my weekly visits with the way you, you're being so grumpy. So don't be grumpy, old man. Don't turn into a grumpy old man because people will soon pull away from you. And you see people that, oh, he's a lonely old person. Or she's a lonely old woman. The reason that you're lonely is that you have distanced yourself from everybody through your own mindless actions. The way you're speaking to people. People that aren't lonely are doing something that you're not. They're bringing people in. And I have run the risk of becoming a lonely old man by doing that. So just open your heart up. Open everything you own up. Everything that's material, share it. It's all going to go in the end anyway. You're going to go in the end, so... Today's message to the brothers is don't become a lonely old brother, a lonely old man. Open your, share everything you have and be free with your energy and you'll be loved and you'll always have someone to talk to. I think that's all I want to say. Go steady. And uh, I'm still, can't smile without hurting. It's healing up slowly. My stitches have come out in my jaw. I've got six stitches have come out since my surgery, but that's today's message. And, uh, and also, I'll end up just messaging my son. It's okay to be messy sometimes. <laughs> Sorry about your cup. I feel shit now. I know he loves that cup. I even feel real shit that I said I didn't do it when I did because I completely thought I hadn't, but I realised I did it without even thinking. Yeah. I got a little bit upset though, and then I was like, well, actually, it takes about three seconds to clean it. And... Takes about three seconds. You, you, you're upset enough to tell me about the cup. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and I was careless enough to even brush it off like I didn't do it when I did. So there we go. We'll probably have a hug over this later on. See you guys. Have a great day.